Rise and shine, August. Keep her in the lagoon. Okay, I get up quick. Out of the hay, Bobby Heedy. We're getting company. Coming up. Mimi, you? Oh, what do you want, Mars? Get up. The Southern Queen is here. Oh, so sweet. You look like a big night tonight. Mr. Dave, Christine. Captain Tracy's in for. I said, hit the deck. Captain Tracy's in for. <laughs> Loaded with crap shooters and roulette players. I hope she brings me some late newspapers. Newspapers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know she's bringing me my captain. Your captain? How do you get that way? He's mine. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wait till tonight and I'll show you whose captain he is. Yeah? You and who else? I think you're asking for a punch in the nose. Well, maybe you think you're big enough to give it to me. Cut it. I said cut it or I'll throw you both up. If you want to maul each other, do it when there's no boat in port, understand? All right. We'll let the captain decide, and that's that. And here's the usual warning to those of you who've been thrown out of places before. You better make yourself scarce until we see who's aboard that southern queen. Well, I guess that makes it unanimous. Eh, Marge? Yeah. Now, Webster, take a good look. There's your perfect lady, and she appears well qualified to run a place like the Isle of Forgotten Sin. Well, why didn't you say something? All right, if you insist. But I wish you'd visit the establishment and judge for yourself, sir. Very well, we'll go there tonight. Now, remember, I want a lot of customers around those roulette tables tonight. You girls didn't do so well last time. So keep the wheels spinning and the ivories rolling. And remember, all rough stuff is taboo. Do you think the inspector will like my song? No, your song is out. Do you think the inspector would like my ooh la la? Oh, no, that's out too. What can we do to please him? He doesn't want to be pleased. He's looking for an excuse to close us up. Says who? Yeah, who says so? Our resident authority, Mr. Webster, and he was regular enough to send me a warning. So take your station and obey my orders or we're all going to be out of this job, and I don't mean perhaps. Okay, okay. Marge. Diane, how are you making out, honey? Oh, I suppose it's silly of me, but I feel so self-conscious in this car. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know how it is when your modesty's taking a beating. Don't let it get you down. Just remember that giving those patrons an eyeful is only a stepping stone on your road home. And if the gong gets too tough, I'll be there beside you. I'm game, boy. All right, girl. I'll be seeing you downstairs. What's that? That? <laughs> That's just a bit of hocus-pocus to summon all sinners to the Isle of Forgotten Sins. Come on, you mangy son of a sea I'm fond of this gag called too far. Shut up. You annoy me. Don't be a rat all your life. Come on, let's go on over to the Isle of Forgotten Sins and tank up. The drinks will be on me. Oh, you're talking. Just wait to hear you say that. Eh. Uh, I sort of suspected you had an ulterior Morty. Why, you moocher. Okay, pal. You weren't kidding about buying the drinks. Of course. I owe you something for rescuing me, don't I? Got the baloney. You got the dough to pay for them. I sure, right there in my left hand pocket. Well, I gotta see it. I'll take a look. Well, so long, classy old boy. Thanks for the drink. Hey, come back here, you dirty rat! You won't be good for you when I get loose. I'll break every bone in your body. I'll tear you limb from limb. Why, what you beeping hey, about? You said you'd buy the drinks. You, 
won't be good for you when I get loose. Besides, I can't have you alone when I'm calling on Mars. On your body. Freeze the crowd. Why, you crazy oh. Whiskey is the life of man. I whiskey, Johnny. So. I'll drink whiskey I when I... any moment now. Well, it wouldn't surprise me any. I roamed all the world seeking gladness, but found in my heart only sadness. When suddenly from afar, there beckoned a lovely star. After everywhere, with tropic nights and twinkling stars, the melody of soft guitars. In tango, the perfume in the tropic air, and twinkling eyes and twinkling eyes will gladden away your every care. Shh, shh. See how the lights are calling you, and then you'll hear a voice say, shh, shh. Oh, come with me, I promise you. Like you'll find in tango, the sun and moon will cast a spell upon your lonely heart, and then you'll want to laugh and live again. In tango, a lovely Maurita smile will captivate your heart, and then you'll want to laugh and live again. The tango. <laughs> Not an unusual laugh. But oh, Jack, you old rascal, you. Hello, Bet. What's the matter? Where's the old villain Vicar? Aren't you feeling well? Oh, I'm okay, but I got some bad news for Marge. About Mike. Now, don't go running off the mouth. Just tell her I want a chin with her upstairs. Okay. Yeah, the other will be showing up any minute now. When Burke hits this port, Clancy's never far behind. What is it? Marge. Oh, who's that big lummox? And Burke. He's a deep sea diver. Cranky tough. He looks. He's got a lot of nerve asking me to stop work just to gab with him. Who does he think he is? I think we'd better talk to him, Marge. He's got news for you, and I'm afraid it's bad. Mike. Here, take over for me. What happened to Mike? Go on, don't keep me in suspense. Tell me. I hate to hurt your feelings, babe. I hate to hurt you. Did he? I 
tried to save him, babe, but he drowned before I could get to him. He must have run his boat on the submerged reef, and she broke in two. Mike was a powerful swimmer. Yes, I know, but he got caught in the rig. Find his body. Buried him on a no. We're looking to see. I brought you to watch for a keepsake. I gave him the sticker. Will you look what just blew in? She's around somewhere. Yeah, what's the matter, boss? Yeah. We'll wait till he's calmed down a bit. Give me your own calms, buddy. You thought a lot, didn't you? Why do you think I've been hanging around the South? Because I'd like to see her. Yeah, I know. He was a great guy. I couldn't help liking him even when I was trading punches with him. Things won't be the same with him not around here. Well, I won't be around here much longer either. Thing, babe, so let you and I get out of here tonight. What are you talking about? You know the way I've always felt about you. Oh, yeah? Well, I got to thinking that with Mike gone, you, you might marry me. Come in. Well, you don't have to hear your rank. Mike! But safe enough to, Marge. You just go downstairs. I got some business to take care of. each other will we be? Oh, uh, don't worry, they're tougher and stale. <laughs> But this is customary. The winner! <laughs> <laughs> now, folks, let's all drink to the health of Champ Clancy. And the drinks are on me. Come on, everybody. Everybody, come on. <laughs> the guy with the banshee laugh. Some nut who runs the copra plantation on Marana Island. What's his name? Caruthers. Caruthers. 
<laughs> and now, folks, I have another little treat in store for you while the drinks are being served. Yonder is a nameless young man whom I fished out of the sea. So I've called him Johnny Pacific, and he's going to entertain you, folks. Come on, Johnny, do your stuff. Come on. Come on. six months ago, if you can. Remember a steamship that disappeared in the Coral Sea? Sure. Tropic Star. The radio in Melbourne picked up her SOS. Right. She was carrying three million dollars in gold. Now, don't tell me you're going to suggest we search the bottom of the Coral Sea. No. I'm just not sure the gold went down with the Tropic Star. So? So we look for the gold. We find it, we go 50-50. Talk sense, will you? If it's not in the wreck, how are we going to know where to look for it? I just saw the captain and the purse of the Tropic Star. They're downstairs now. That's the purse of something on the piano. How do you know? Did you hear that guy with the banshee laugh? Yeah, why? That's the captain of the Tropic Star. Go on. I heard him cut loose one of those fine ticklers one night in the Batavia Saloon. The purse was there along with him. Tickling the ivories just like he is now. You got something. Worth a gamble. You with me? Where's my watch? share the expenses for that scheme I tell you about. You didn't tell me anything about it. Yet. Don't be like that. I'll tell you all about it as soon as we get back. Where are you going? Just down to the key to some stores aboard the Vulture. You'll be careful, Mike. Sure. Your ace is done. I think we're between the devil and the deep, and that's no quotation. But what do we do? What we've always done before when things got too hot for us. But this is an island. Where can we go? Bert Spelt is our safest bet. 
Diane! Well, this man is dead. Attention, everybody. A murder has been committed. I'm placing you all under technical arrest as material witness. That's our cue. Come on, honey. I got you into this for hiring. I'm gonna get you out. For both of us, there'll be no reason for us to double cross each other. Gosh, no. You won't be able to spend all that dough if we live a hundred years. When whiskey comes to near my nose, whiskey, Johnny, whiskey, I tip her up and down she goes. Whiskey for me, Johnny. I down, her name is Wise. Whiskey, Johnny, for oh, she puts whiskey in her pipe. Well, another thing. There's no sense of our fighting each other anymore. From now on, we gotta fight back to back. Now you're talking, Mike. Let's make an agreement that neither of us will raise his dukes against the other. There's my hand on it. Come on, come on. Well, here's to our success. Confusion to Corgan. Tell me you closed up this early. Oh, they're closed up for us, for keeps. Are you kidding? Sure. She's only murdered the guy. You're on the spot, Jack. We need your help. Why? None of you did the killing. Now, don't be stupid. You know what will happen if we're around here for the investigation? Jail. Well, I'd like to help you, but I don't see how I can. Please. Now, Mike and I got important plans. Well, helping them won't hurt our plans none. Besides, it'll give us a reason for stopping off from Rhine Island. We can't just crash in on Krogan and tell him to fuck over his gold. Krogan? Gold? What are you two pirates up to? You to blab everything you know. Well, where's the harm? If they can help us, I'm for cutting them in. But I'm not. Mixing females in business is bad luck. I have no part of it. Well, it was my idea anyway. I didn't have to cut you in. You had to have a boat, didn't you? Uh, don't be a dumb cluck all your life. Don't call me a dumb cluck. You're a dumb cluck. Why, you swap? Now, what'd you go and do that for? I want to give them a good going over. There goes the settlement alarm bell. Now we're in for it. We gotta shove off before the law grabs us. Okay, Skipper. I'll take her over. Get me some water and a towel. Here. Cast off, and let her get along with the tide. Sammy? Make the rest of these gals and stand out to sea. Where am I? Made this fall on me. Why'd you sock me with a belaying pin? <laughs> he didn't sock you. I did with a bottle. I'll be a horned toad. We're, we're underway. But this is piracy. I'll have you all prosecuted. Well, maybe you're right, Mike, about bringing the girls along for a front. Of course I'm right. <laughs> I'm glad I knocked some sense into your head. Now listen, if we're going to help you, you better let us in on the know. Where is this gold we're going to grab? Now, if my hunch is right, it's buried somewhere on Moran Island. Well, that's where Caruthers had his plantation. Caruthers is just a phony name for Crocan. I recognize him tonight. He was the captain of the Tropic Star. The steamer that was lost at sea. Yeah. With a captain and purser who stuck to their ship. And millions in gold. Go on. It's as plain as your face. Corgan and this huge piano player have got that gold. And we're going to take it away from them. Let's see. Three million spread. Six ways. Why, well, it's half a million apiece. Wow. That ain't hay. Just shoot me while I'm dreaming. Count me out, Mom. I don't want any part of it. You want half a million dollars? You must be crazy. Stealing. What do you mean, stealing? It doesn't belong to them. It doesn't belong to you, either. You're not calling me a thief, are you? <laughs> no, let her alone. She wants to stick to her principles, more power to her. 
Sure, more power to her, and more gold to us. That's what you think. But I'm cutting myself in for her share. Oh, God. You've got a lot of gold coming here after what you did to us. What I did to you? All I did was get you out of a dump and put you next to half a million dollars. <laughs> I'd call that a favor. Do us a favor if you don't drown yourself. Yeah, and if you think you're cutting in for a share, you're crazy. Come on, Mike, let's put her over the side. A good idea. Huh? I wouldn't try it if I were you. I've already shot one man tonight in self-defense. You'd better play nice with me if you want to get your hands on that gold. All right, we'll cut you in for a share. We're none of your tricks, do you hear? Why, I wouldn't think of such a thing. Well, you better not if you don't want to be shocked, Nate. Mike, we've got work. Olga, come here. That might be it. It is. There's his boat. What's that up there? Must be Krogan's plantation. Looks like our little game of hide-and-seek is about to begin. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a lot of fun. What do you mean, hide-and-seek? I told you last night, two very much bad men come in that boat. They try to find our gold where we hide it. Me savvy. But we're lots of fun. We want them to find it. You want them to find gold? Lots of fun. A lot of fun is when we take it away from them. Hiya, Carruthers. What do you want? What's the matter? You don't seem glad to see us. Aren't visitors welcome around here? That depends on the reason for coming here. Your friend Carruthers seems to think we're trespassing. William Spade, will you, Marge? No, don't blame Mike and Jack for bringing us here. It was my idea. Things got too hot for us at Tango Angle after what happened. You get what I mean. We had to go somewhere. This is the only place I could think of. Of course, if you're putting us up for a few days until we can make other plans, is asking too much, well, we'll just go someplace else. You'll what? Let's take a joke, Marge. Why, as a matter of fact, when we saw you coming ashore, we started in right then, arranging a little party of welcome for tonight. Sure. Come right in, folks, and hang your hat. <laughs> sure. Step in.
beginning to remind me of an old nursery rhyme. Mother, may I go out and swim? Yes, my darling daughter. Hang your clothes on a hickory limb, but don't go near the water. <laughs> She's right. Let's go. Spoil everything. Just when I was going great guns to the war. We got no time for nonsense. Now's our chance to frisk the house. Come on. You never think there was a cave in here, but there is. And it's easy to get into. All you have to do is dive down deep. And then swim ahead till you count ten, and then come up and you're in the cave. Watch me. Distance inside, hardly five feet. Sure, hold your back. Come on, here we go. Okay. Come on in, gals. This program's bedroom first. There's just a chance the gold ain't buried at all. Any gold in here? You don't look that way, but you never can tell. Nothing here but old shoes. Look for a trap door in the floor on the wall. Okay. Hey, Jack, come here. Did you find it? No, look here. Ah, what's that? I thought you found the gold. Well, the foods were getting warm. You took the trouble to save this, you sure got the gold. Well, cry it out loud, that's what we're here for, ain't it? Now he's looking at pictures. Yeah. Maybe you better take a good look at this one. Because it means that I think Krogan scuttled the tropic storm right here in this archipelago. So what? All I want to know is where's the gold? That's what I'm trying to tell you. According to this, he ain't got it yet. Oh, now it's still in the Tropic Star, 14 fathoms under. Well, I'll be a horn toad. Hey, what a slick hiding place. Yeah. He thinks he can take his own sweet time about salvaging him. Got another thing coming, huh? with us and see the cave. I've seen a cave. So have I. All right. Oh, you missed a grand sight, Mike. Uh, I guess I'm getting old. I don't seem to enjoy the things I used to. But I'll sure be sorry to leave you tomorrow. Are you and Jack seven off? Yeah, we got it. What's the big idea? You only arrived this morning. I know. We only came in the first place to help the girls off. Besides, we've got a job to do. Yeah, we got to get busy on it before somebody beats us to it. Oh, well, if that's the case, I can't blame you. Business before pleasure. Come on, guys, let's go. All right. Time to go? No, but we know where it is. Where? I'll tell you all about it later. March. March. Don't be scared, honey. It's Mike. I'll give you the low town. Where's Johnny and the Krogan? 
bed, and are they scared? Listen. Didn't take them long to smell out the bed. No. It must be awful dumb to fall for anything as phony as a treasure map. It was the log book did the trick. Nothing phony about that. No. We ever caught it. It's a one-way ticket to the gallows. Ah, don't worry. Neither Burke or Clancy will ever tell anybody. Ship. A reef protected lagoon, 500 miles off the regular steamer lane. <laughs> no wonder the tropic star disappeared at sea. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be a soul living on this side of the island. Well, Jack, I hope you haven't let your insurance run out. Now look, no monkey business when I'm on the bottom, see? Oh, you shouldn't put this in my head. Well, no tricks, understand? Put his hat on. Darling. You hear me? Ready to go overside? Okay, lower away. All right, lower away. Keep my regards for Mrs. Jones. somewhere in this lagoon. Oh, yeah? Take a look at the map. Maybe we'll take it wrong. Okay. Have yourself a smoke while I check the map. Ah. If it can't be far off, take a stroll. Okay. I just struck a long reef. Must be another one inside the main barrier. Nothing shows above the surface. I think I know the answer. Well, it's about time. I can't do all the thinking around here. I found it. Good boy. What'd she look like? I'll come up and tell you. Oh, dogging, eh? Can't stand a little pressure anymore, eh? Go on, I'll dive deeper and stay under longer than any day in the week than you. Oh, you do the diving. It'll save the strain on my artery. Oh, lobster bait.
I mean, if they had tails. Okay, pal. Let's show you alibi if they're coming up so soon. Alibi? I come up because you got work on the starboard side without following the lines. So we dive off the port side. I could have made the switch with you on the bottom. That's all you know. It so happens the wreck is lying stern to stern with us, and it's her bow we want to explode. Okay, pal, you win. We'll knock off work till tomorrow anyway. Knock off work? What do you mean? Well, the barometer's been dropping steadily all the time you were down. It's like we're in for a blow. Let her blow, Todd. It's your turn to go downstairs. I will not be quiet. Do you think I am blind? I saw you holding your hand. There's nothing in that to get you all upset. No. No. I was only admiring a ring. A ring? You are a liar to me. I will not stop to stop you. I will scratch her eyes out. Don't you talk to me like that, you little fool. Hey, hey. What's going on here? Can't you two get along without quarreling? Yes, sir. I'm afraid it was all my fault. I lost my temper. I apologize, Luana. Ah, it's much better. Much better. Everything under control? Yes. Sir. Let's keep it that way. Nadine, come on. I'll buy a little drink. Oh, you yeah. oh, well. Excuse me. What the money is up? And I heard Taho Sebaha and I'm alone. Johnny. Sebaha and I'm alone. Sebaha and I'm alone. Okay, okay. Come on, Johnny. We've got to get busy. All right. Scared to guess. You mean? Shh. What did you mean, Marge? I don't know what I meant. There's something awfully fishy going on around here. Yeah, there's something in the air that makes you feel that something's going to happen. If something doesn't happen pretty soon, I'm going to blow up. What's the meaning of the drums? You got me, sister. It's probably just some tribal right. Let's get Krogan and Johnny to take us down to the village. Oh, no, not me. Nobody's going to make a fricassee out of little Christine. Krogan, just a minute. Would you mind telling us what's going on around here? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, of course. See, my number five boy just had a very bad scare. He was... Why, hello, Chief. How are you? Greetings, Chief. Welcome to my plantation. Come in. What can I do for you, Chief? Nothing can do. Well, what you come here for? Talky talk. Much bad magic now in sky and sea. Wizard doctor say, big wind come and big wave. Soon no more home. Always. Well, there's always bad magic in the sea and sky when the monsoon comes. But white man not afraid of big wind or big wave. No afraid me. But man no can stop wind from blow away from walk. One time big wind walk big wave over much home. Much mother. Much father. Much child. No more try. Yeah, that's right. But then that was many, many moons ago. Way back in the ancient times. Big wave ready to walk so more. Wizard doctor say, go, quick, take child, so new seed grow on safe ground. Look. Go, friend, before monsoon. Well, thank you, Chief, for your warning. Good luck to you. I 
I was saying before, when old Noah stepped in with his voodoo pipe dream, my number five boy had a very bad scare today. He sighted a couple of tigers. Tigers? I didn't know there were tigers in this archipelago. Oh, yes, yes. They say all these islands at one time were a part of Asia. I see. Oh, yes, yes. Well, we'll be back tomorrow, maybe tonight. Uh, enjoy yourself. I landed smack on top side of her. How's it going? Order at. Now, I got plenty of line. I'm going to take a stroll. Let the breeze blow your hat off. The agitation of the water will be due to my hearty laughter. Send your overcoat down, softy. Hold everything. I gotta look at his quarters. You better do something to earn your wages.
Get that chest up there. It's going to rain any minute. Well, I'll speak to the union about it. All right, darling. Everything is ready now. Well, I handle our interest with care. This going is going to be tricky. Okay, partner. It's 12 feet to the cabin door. You can take out that one, Slice. Check. about six feet. Well, I guide the chest up over the first counter. Okay, sweetheart. Twenty feet to the companionway, and then thirty feet of tough going till you get topside. I got it. I'll bait you up the last thirty feet. Might even be waiting to happen until after they brought the gold up.
thanks for asking me. Oh, forget it. We're partners, are we? Sure. Don't you think we better get up to the gold? I left it hanging clear to the deck. Why, you dirty son of a sea cook. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just shattered. You gotta protect yourself from the clinches, you know. Well, you didn't trust me. And the gold up here and me on the bottom? <laughs> I didn't want to tempt you. Yeah, man that witch. Is that a sight for sore eyes? Yeah. Something different about the feel of gold. Yeah. Makes you feel the way you do when you've had a swell feed. Shall we, uh, divvy it up now? Sure. Take off the cruise share and we'll haggle over the rest. Haggle is right. There you. Take this and divide it up to the monster. Now scrap. Now. There's one for you. What do you mean, two for you? I'm claiming a bigger share than you. Well, how do you get that way? I'll tell you how I get that way. I furnish the boat, the crew, and the diving gear. You furnish nothing. No? Who furnished the idea? Why, you didn't know there was any gold when I told you about it. Ah, uh, go on. Just knowing about it don't count as much as having the means to get it. Why, you're full of bills, Water. You're full of bills if you think I'm taking less than 60%. Well, if you're taking 60%, you're going to take 40 out of my hide, because I'm taking 60% myself. Well, then I'll take it out of your hide. Get yourself in that back room here. Oh, wait a minute, Corgan. Let's talk this over. Uh, there's nothing to talk over. You guys tried to steal our gold. You're not going to get away with it. We ought to be entitled to something for salvaging it for you, aren't we? Oh, of course. You're entitled to something. Sure. Johnny here is going to write you a nice little letter of thanks. <laughs> Come on, get this back room like I told you. And shut the door behind you. Get that trunk in the boat, boys. Well, what are we going to do now? We are a chance to take the gold away from them. That's all we can do. 
Hey, what are you trying to do there? I'm building a nice coffin for you guys. I don't like the way you said that. So long, boys. Hope you enjoy your nice dive to Davy Jones's locker. Hey, what do you mean, Davy Jones locker? You'll find out when little things go boom. They're gonna blow us up. We gotta get out of here. Wait a minute. Well, it won't be long now. Come on, let's get away from here. Looks like. I didn't think you did. 
Don't let show you. There, take a look. Isn't that beautiful? Three million dollars in gold. Think of all the luxuries that'll buy. What's the matter, Marge? Aren't you interested in gold? No. That's uh, funny. I was under the impression that you were. Didn't you cut yourself in for a slice of this? Where's Mike? What have you done to him? I've got to know. What do you think we do to guys that try to steal our gold? You want to see them, you've got to get yourself a diving suit. Because they're down at the bottom of the lagoon, along with the tropic star. Well, what's the matter with the rest of you gals? Why aren't you crying, too? Didn't you all come over here to get a slice of this dough? Didn't you? Yes. That's right. It was worth a gamble. You gambled on the wrong team, so you get nothing. But I was playing on your team. Didn't I warn you against Clancy and Burke? You didn't tell us a thing we didn't know. Why, of course. It was us tipped Burke off to the gold in the first place. You did? Sure. We needed a couple of deep sea divers to bring the gold up for us. And we figured Burke and Clancy had enough larceny in their hearts not to put their finger on it. And we figured right. You wouldn't refuse me a little share of the gold. Tell me, would you? I'll pay your fare to the mainland if you keep out of my sight. That's more than you deserve. Oh, yeah? Start dishing out my share of those facts. Go on and shoot. You think I wouldn't? <laughs> You see, I remembered your bad habit about shooting people. So I had to want to take all the cartridges out of your gun. You're all a lot of scary double-crossing rats, all of you. Except Diane. She's the only decent one among you. And that goes for you and Loretta, too, Tommy. Oh, I don't think you were fooling me for a minute. I knew you were double-crossing me and planning to get the gold for yourselves. As long as I ain't a showdown, I might as well make it a good one. I never intended to give you a share of the gold anyhow. And why should I? I did all the planning, all the dirty work, took all the risk. You didn't even know the gold was aboard till I told you. All right, so what? Knowing about it wasn't doing a weak sister like you any good. You didn't have energy enough to steal it. And anyhow, you're too dangerous to let them. Both of you are quite right, Coven. That goes for us, too. Nice shooting, boys. Well, now, that's what I call being pal. Mike! Look out, she's got a gun. Stop, and I shoot. Delivery Lord, Calamity. Take it easy, babe. You can't give me any gold, but I can. Ah, it's my rich. That bungalow on the rear is a cinch now.
and that's to put the bite on you for about fifty dollars. Now, don't be like that. I'll tell you all about it as soon as my plans are a little further along. Haven't forgotten about that bungalow on the Riviera, have you?